This 3 News Now update sponsored by Godfather's Pizza. Order today. I'm Maya Sines with 3 News Now. Here to look at what's happening now. We have an update on the investigation into a death at an Iowa amusement park. A regulator has ordered Adventureland not to restart a popular water ride pending the investigation into the bow accident that left an 11-year-old boy dead and his brother in critical condition. Authorities say 11-year-old Michael Deramillo died after a raft on the Raging River ride flipped over on Saturday. Under the order signed by Iowa's Labor Commissioner, Adventureland cannot operate the Raging River until an investigation is complete and all hazards are corrected. The Denver Zoo is going to start vaccinating some of its animals against COVID-19. Primates and carnivores will be among the first to be vaccinated. Veterinary vaccine company Zotus is providing the shots for the animals. The company's vaccine is designed primarily for mammals, and there have been several documented cases of COVID-19 in large cats, monkeys, and certain rodents. Zoo officials say they will begin the vaccination as soon as next week. And I'm 3 News Now meteorologist Chris Swaim, upper 60s heading into early Wednesday morning. Some scattered storms expected overnight. Winds stay out of the south for the overnight hours, but rotate to out of the north by the morning, all thanks to a cold front. Let's time out some of these storms and showers. Really spotty into the early morning hours. You might wake up to a rumble of thunder, a flash of lightning, but a lot of these storms calming down heading into our area. Some beneficial rain for a select few, not really widespread. This continues into early Wednesday morning. Skies gradually clear. Temperatures try to recover, but they don't buy much. I think 81 degrees is where we land Wednesday afternoon, thanks to winds out of the north. A refreshing air mass, a break from the extreme heat or the July-like pattern that we've had in the mid-90s, but it's short-lived. 81, 87, right back to 94. That heat and humidity could make the heat index push the century mark, feeling like 100 degrees. Some energy to work with there. Friday into Saturday, call this an early heads up. Some details to be ironed out, but those storms could be strong to even severe. Cooler for the weekend and in the next week, but back to 90 by Tuesday. Godfather's Pizza's Taco Pie's got a new sidekick. Cinnamon Sugar Churro Bites. Add your favorite one-topping pizza, and you've got my new Taco Feast with Churro Bites. Godfather's Pizza. Do it!